Jesus loved to teach in parables, and it's striking that this was his favorite method of teaching. Now, the word parable is a difficult word to define. It has many meanings, but one of the best definitions of parable is riddle. Parables are riddles. In a parable, there's some puzzle to be solved, some mystery to be plumbed. In other words, Jesus loved to tell riddles. Sometimes I think we miss the significance of that. Jesus' main way of communicating was not in rules or laws or principles or abstract spiritual truths, but riddles. The Gospel writer Mark says, with only a slight bit of exaggeration, Jesus said nothing except in riddles, except in parables. One reason this is important is because the way riddles work is by getting us involved in guessing the meaning. That's part of the power of Jesus' teaching. We can't just sit back and nod yes or no to what Jesus says. We have to get up out of our seat, roll up our sleeves, and get involved in figuring out what he means by his parables. One New Testament scholar said that a parable employs a figure of speech drawn from everyday life that is so vivid and strange that it leaves the mind in doubt about its precise meaning and teases the imagination into thought. That's it. Jesus' parables tease the imagination into thought, and this means that Jesus' parables aren't just sweet stories about farmers and bridesmaids and women baking bread. They are language events in which something powerful about faith happens in our imagination. The legendary preacher Clarence Jordan once said that when Jesus told a parable, he lit a stick of dynamite and covered it with a story. For example, Jesus once said in one of his parables, the kingdom of heaven is like a hidden treasure which someone stumbles across in a field and then covers back up and joyfully goes and sells everything he has so that he can buy that field. Think about that. Let your imagination see yourself finding a buried treasure, a treasure so vast and wonderful that everything in your life, everything you thought was so valuable and important, pales in comparison. Your world is turned upside down, so much so that you sell everything you own so that you can have this treasure. Jesus says life in God is like that. When you think about it that way, when you let Jesus' riddle stimulate your imagination, you suddenly realize that this parable is about the transforming power of God's grace and that what was found was not only a hidden treasure, what was really found was you. <laughs>